typically give us more motivation to deliver even better features and products. Thank you again. Here's our product stack. The OG series and Strip series, DC Mini series and Turbo series. From ADX Gaming View to Mini, IDX Home Theater PC. Asus delivers the most complete range of product offering, the dip, offering for different users and gamer needs. You must be interested to know, so when will we deliver these products to the market? So here's the timeline. Very soon, all strips will be introduced to the market. Followed by ROG Poseidon in August and Matrix Instant in September. Last but not least, to mark our 20th anniversary, we will deliver the Gold Edition GDX 980 Time in October. Okay, before we go into details about our latest product innovations, Let's catch a short video, please. Different heat pipe diameter provides different heat transfer capability. For pipe deployment, the main design consideration is to make the total capacity exceed the GPU's maximum power consumption. Nowadays, the maximum GPU power we've seen is around 210 watts. So, we need to use three big pipes to take away the heat. And additionally, Two small pipe to further reduce the temperature. That is a basic architecture um, we use for the high-end solution. Before we take a look into the pipe structure choice, let's see how it works. Simply, at the, at the evaporate side, GPU heats up the water inside the pipe making it vapor and moving forward to the condensed side through the middle of the pipe. Then, it condenses back to water and then flow through the inner surface of the pipe back to the heat source. It cycles again and again. Um, so now, speaking of pipe structures, there are mainly two types in the industry, powder and groove. Powder structure is good at anti-gravity, so it can be used without directional constraints. And for groove, groove is good at bigger water flow. Somehow, 
gravity prevents it from falling upwards. Taking good size from both structure, our direct cool pipe outperforms them and gives us around 70 watts of maximum capacity. And this is the digit for 6 mm E pipe. So the fold works as a shield to reduce the vortex loss. Applying this concept to our fan design, we found it also works. From simulation, we, we found that we can get 100, 105% air pressure from this change. So we apply this to our fan design. Another fan design consideration is the blade size and the gap area. Performance will be better with, bad, with bigger blades and less gap. In wing blade design, we have optimized these two factors and again squeeze more performers out there. Formally, we have offered our product with a back plate to make it neat and strong. Now, we have added GPU Fortify to make it even stronger. Again, from simulation, we found that the GPU Fortifier not only relieves the stress on GPU corners, also it reduces circuit board bending. So, no doubt, reliability has been taken to the next higher level by this. To pursue the persistent perfection, we redesigned the PCB and components from ground up. Ladies and gentlemen, ASUS Auto Extreme. For PC components, a well-designed printed circuit board, or PCB, is the critical foundation for product reliability on which advanced components are installed. Until today, every graphics card in the world was hand-built to exact specifications. Now, incorporating 180 innovations, Asus is the first graphics card brand to achieve 100% automated production, accompanied by aerospace-grade Super Alloy Power 2 component materials, and advanced quality control and inspection to deliver superior quality and reliability as premium workstation products. Product quality is always at the forefront of our minds with the principle of design thinking. We are persistently finding ways to optimize every minute detail of components, circuit boards, and production process. This is the spirit of ASUS Auto Extreme technology. ASUS Auto Extreme technology creates and refines a new generation of exclusive super alloy power components to ensure its voltage threshold and power efficiency even in the toughest conditions. Furthermore, ASUS Auto Extreme technology optimizes the production process by eliminating an entire stage of heating, fortifying the component's overclocking stability even further. To achieve even better product longevity, we completely removed the use of plugs to minimize dust buildup and oxidation on the circuit boards and connectors. Setting the highest standard of quality control in the industry, ASUS Auto Extreme Technology customizes inspection systems to ensure Super Alloy Power 2 components are produced and installed with the highest precision and consistent perfection. Beyond reliability, we are committed to environmentally friendly production by avoiding harsh chemicals and reducing electricity consumption by 50%. Another benefit of the ASUS Auto Extreme technology is that it makes the circuit boards hopefully smooth for the first time. System builders can enjoy working without sharp bumps. ASUS Auto Extreme technology leads us a step further on our quest to produce perfect graphics cards. Now, more than ever, you can be assured that ASUS graphics cards represent the pinnacle of product performance, quality, and reliability and will continue to do so for years to come.
We need to work on component modification in all aspects and do manufacturing reformation. Anyway, just take away all the benefits and leave the tedious work to us. With the 100% automatic production process ready, we need to ensure super alloy power two components are leveled up to the um, to enhance the stability even more. Let's take take a look at it. This uh, this is a graph for the power delivery sequence nowadays. The controller sends a small signal to drive and turn either off or off the high side and low side modes. Once high side is on, 12 volt is applied. And on the other hand, the store energy in the charts and the capacitors will be released if low side is turned on. In our study, 80% of the power loss happened at the most driver and the most fat itself. This gives us a hint to enhance. This 80% comes from three types of losses, conduction, switching, and dead time. Depending on the state of most, it loses some of the energy in different ways. Conduction loss happens when either high side or low side loss is fully turned on. Switching loss happens when loss is turning from on to off or off to on. And to prevent short through which is a risky condition that may burn down the board. A short period of dead time was designed. It means both high side and low side modes are being turned off simultaneously. In this period, low side modes body out still provide the current path for GPU. Somehow it cannot last long, so we need a dead time as short as possible. Conduction loss can be reduced by choosing minimum RDSL loss components. Our SAP2 Dr. Moss has relatively low 1.8 million ohms RDSL in the industry. Next, to minimize switching loss, key parameter is gate resistance. Transferring from discrete to conventional data models makes it improved a lot. Fleet chip packaging enhanced further to the next level. So we, we designed it in and made it an industry low, 28 meter ohms and gain resistance. Okay, for the last one, daytime loss, what can we do? Signals at input and output side of the MOS driver are in different scale. Small signal at input, while big current at output. Traditional design uses one single driver to drive all MOS. So the arriving time to each cell is different. This prolonged the fully turnout time. That is that time. In SAP Dr. Moss, we have implemented multiple distributed driver to generate a bigger and a faster signal to drive each cell. This dramatically reduced the dead time to 1.4 nanoseconds. Here comes a scope shop which you can look into them and tell the difference. With all the designs above, the total efficiency 
goes above 90% at light load and more than 93% at heavy load. So it's pretty high in the industry. Next, let's talk about white chunks wine, especially in graphic cars. Look at the scope shot of GPU and CPU loads. As you see on the right, GPU loads fluctuate dramatically comparing to CPU. Every fluctuation makes some noise. This is a big challenge to us. So it's time for further study again. We found that there are three common reasons for chalk wine. Mechanical vibration happens when there is friction between chalk core and coil. And cavity re resonance is generated when there are gaps inside of the chalk core. It works like a speaker chamber that amplifies the noisy sound. And the last one is a magnetostriction, which comes from the core particle magnetization, while loads goes up and down. After all, what is a cure? Molding chalk structure is good at preventing me mechanical vibration, so we choose this as our basis. For the other two, we need more tags. Okay, it's time to hand out the homework. The cure is smaller core particles. It makes both the cavity and the magnetostriction particles smaller. So the speaker chamber becomes smaller and is more silent. As you see in the movie of Jurassic World, big T-Rex roars louder than other small dinosaurs. We made the dino dinosaur smaller to keep the system silent. That's our solution.